Continuing on with the invertible matrix theorem. In the last video, we showed that a bunch of stuff is equivalent to this. AX equals zero only has the trivial solution. Let's add another item to that list. AX equals zero has only the trivial solution. If and only if the linear transformation T of X equals A times X is one to one. We'll prove this. Our proof will go in two directions. Let's start by assuming that this linear transformation is one to one. Well, by the definition of one to one, that means that T of X equals zero has only one solution and T of X equals zero definitely has the trivial solution. So saying it has only one solution is the same as saying that it only has the trivial solution, just like we wanted. Let's now go the other way. This matrix equation has only the trivial solution. And now we'll prove that T of X equals AX is one to one. What does that mean? It means that if T of A equals T of B, then A equals B. Well, T of A is this product. So we want to use this to show that A equals B. And we have to be careful here. Matrix multiplication doesn't cancel. So we can't just cross off these A's. What we can do is bring everything to the left, pull this matrix out, and then say that since A minus B is a solution to this equality. And this equality has only the trivial solution. It must be the case that A minus B is zero. And that gives us the desired equality. If T of A equals T of B, A equals B. In other words, T is one to one, just like we wanted. So this,
is equivalent to this. is equivalent to a whole bunch of other stuff. Moving on, theorem. A is invertible if and only if AX equals B has at least one solution for every vector B in Rn. One direction we've already proven. If A is invertible, this always has at least one solution. In fact, we've done better than that. If A is invertible, this always has exact one solution. This was from section 2.2. Let's go the other way. Assume that this always has at least one solution and show that A is invertible. Okay, if this always has at least one solution, then this is from a second section 1.4, every row contains a pivot position. There are n rows, and no row can have multiple pivot positions. So this tells you you have exactly n pivot positions. And having n pivot positions is equivalent to being invertible. QED, this proof is complete. And we add to this list. We'll do two more theorems in this video because they're both going to be extremely short. This theorem is going to be short because it doesn't require a proof, or rather because we already proved it. It's an old theorem from section 1.3, that AX equals B always has a solution if and only if the columns of A span Rn. Add that to our list. Last theorem for this video, but our list is going to keep growing. AX equals B always has a solution if and only if T of X equals AX is on to. This is literally just the definition of what it means to be on to. So I don't have much to say about this.
we'll add another entry to the list. 